Spiritual trauma is hard, man. It's hard to deal with spiritual trauma because people either think it's bullshit or they make fun of it. Until one day, man, until one day I got thunderstruck and I was like, you know what? I finally said something at dinner. Yeah. You know, like those family dinners, those family barbecue, the whole family in there. And then you like, you decide to open your mouth. That's when I do. I call that tuna salad effect. You just drop the bomb and pow! You know, that's how, that's how I did. And then after I started talking about my spiritual trauma, things started to change for me. It started to change, yeah. Started to change so much that I, I was like, you know what? Against spiritual trauma, what's the only thing you can do against spiritual trauma? It's use philosophy, right? So I created a philosophical band. A philosophical band against depression. You know, the three members the, of the band, the bass, the guitar, and the drummer, they all represent my three major crises. Crises that I openly talk here in my book, Punk Aste, the Book of Revelations. Anyways, back to the band. The three members represent my three major crises that I use anger to rise. And since rock and roll saved my soul, it all made sense to me. It all like the stars, the stars line up. Back in 2020, the stars lined up. Seriously, my astral map is the, was the same as my NATO map. The stars all lined up and it all made sense to me. A band, a punk rock band. But there is more for the philosophical part because it's my son, the one who suggests the songs that needs to be covered, the kid songs that needs to cover. He's the one who suggests the fast and, and started at a very early age, like kind of like about 10 months. Yes, he was 10 months when he started suggesting the songs. And my, my daughter, you know, my daughter brings the, she brings the energy, man. It's fast, bro. It's very fast. That's why it's punk. Anyways, it's a conspiracy of one because we are one. Punk as day.